Producer Pranava, I'll get you to hang around because we're going to talk more about the IPL auction uh, that is currently on. Uh, joining us on the line from India is the sports journalist and columnist, formerly of the Times of India, Chandras Naharayan. Thank you very much for joining us here on Talk 100.3. Thanks a lot for having me. No, it's great to have you on here. Did you expect this massive price of Sam Curran? What an extraordinary price uh, that we see that Sam has gone for at the moment. 18.5 crore heading to the Kings 11 Punjab. Uh, I'm not surprised at all. I expected Sam Curran, Ben Stokes and uh, Cameron Green to demand uh, heavy uh, bids. And that's what has happened. I'm a bit surprised with the bid for Nicholas Puran. Mm. Uh, frankly, uh, that uh, he he's proved a dud as a West Indies uh, white ball captain. I didn't expect him to go for so much uh, in the end. Uh, but uh, good for him. Uh, two days before Christmas, uh, uh, Santa's really come home uh, for him. I think so. He's He's gone for 16 crore, uh, Nicholas Puran. Yeah. He's moved to the Lucknow Super Giants. Uh, I think that 16 yeah. crore is somewhere in the vicinity of maybe five, five or six million dirhams. Uh, were there any other bidders yeah. for him? Is that what pushed the price? Who, who else was in the, in the running yeah, for him? I think there were a couple of other teams uh, because it was happening very swiftly. Uh, and uh, so it, that just pushed the price for him. Uh, Harry Brook is the other uh, English player who's uh, commanded a heavy price. He's gone for 13.25 crores. So I think that uh, that's also a, 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 a... That's not a surprise as such because Harry Brook's the man in form mm-hmm. and he's gone for a heavy price. But there are a few other bits uh, that didn't happen, like for Bangladesh Test and T20 captain uh, Shakib Al Hassan went unsold. Afghanistan's recent T20 captain uh, Mohammad Dabi went unsold, which was a surprise. Daryl Mitchell, Jimmy Nishum have gone unsold. So I think uh, what has happened is that teams have come well prepared, well researched, and uh, they are very clear in who they want to bid for. And they're wasting no time trying to bid for players that they don't have any interest in. So they're very clear in the slots that they want and the players that they want. And they've gone about uh, that task accordingly. Yeah, they've obviously done their research on Will Jacks, the 24-year-old from the UK. Uh, He's done very well, 3.2 crore heading to RCB. Uh, Is it on the back of his work with uh, with the Oval Invincibles in the 100? What have they found attractive with Will Jacks? I think uh, they've gone with his uh, due. So what what the teams are doing is that if it's an overseas player, they're going for players who are like an outstanding pick either as a bat or as a bowler, mm. or they're going for players who can provide more than one skill. I think that's that's the key that I can think of right now that the that the franchises have identified. They're looking for more than one skill in an overseas player. So if you're an overseas spinner and you, you're only a spinner, uh, I don't think teams are investing on them anymore. Yeah, that's what we've uh, seen. So, with, yeah, we've seen that with, with Adam Zampa, uh, the Australian. Yeah, who, Adam Zampa. He's gone unsolved. saw unsolved. that with Adam Zampa, with uh, Mojibu Rema. We're seeing that with Tabre Shamsi. Uh, all these guys are very very good spinners in T20 cricket but the teams are not investing in them because they don't want to invest in an overseas spinner because that sort of clogs up a slot mm. in your 11. And if the... you have an overseas spinner, unless, and you know it's not just with this generation of spinners the previous generation, Muthaya Murli Dharan spent a lot of time on the bench for Chennai Yeah, yeah well, well m- most teams when it comes to local players uh, have more than enough spinners. I've even seen that uh, the New Zealander Jimmy Neesham has actually gone unsold. Uh, th- that would have that surprised that's, me. That's surprising, but I am pretty certain that in the next round, which starts in about 20, 25 minutes' time, okay. you will see that if teams have got uh, cash left in their kitty, they might go for him. Else they would have to suffer him tweeting about them from the sidelines. <laughs> Chandresh, I've got a question for you with regards to the RCB, a franchise that I've so... You know, for, I've followed them for a long time. They're the ones that I support, and it's kind of disappointing for these for this team to not pick up the players they want. We saw that in the case of a Mitch Marsh or David Warner last uh, time around, and even this time, you know, they chased a few players which they couldn't get. What does this mean for their planning and for the players that they have right now, like Faf, Virat Kohli? How do they structure their team now? I think uh, you don't need to get disheartened. Uh, I think that uh, they have a fairly decent side. I think uh, they have put together a side. It happens during uh, 
uh, dynamic setups like auctions that you plan or aim to go for certain players mm-hmm. but you don't always get them there are the teams that are going after ben stokes but ultimately ben stokes has gone to chennai mm-hmm. and uh, imagine ben stokes and uh, mahendra singh dhoni teaming up that's a uh, that, that's a fantastic combination this time ben stokes uh, was being chased by rcp but unfortunately mm-hmm. uh, that didn't happen uh, so i think that uh, it happens in a dynamic situation like the auction and i'm pretty certain that uh, uh, bangalore would be a contender see things take time in 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 a franchise uh, format uh, because you're not you're you're not getting the squad that you want you get the squad that you are uh, delivered by an auction the the the, the 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 auction room sort of dictates the kind of team that you feel ultimately during a franchise cricket tournament like this so i think that uh, it looks decent right now you know certain times what happens is that at the end of the auction certain sides look very good mm-hmm. but when the uh, when they actually take the field you realize that they are missing a certain you are missing they are missing certain players mm-hmm. like gujarat for example last year i thought looks look very limited but ultimately they ended up champion yeah. so i think that uh, what matters is what they do on the field uh one question from my end again uh sikandar raza a name that i think a lot of cricket fans you know he was a, he was sort of those players everybody was rooting for one of the nice guys in that performance against zimbabwe the story about him going to punjab kings for 50 lakhs what does that tell about his abilities and will we see him take the field uh i think we may t- see him take the field it also tells you that if, once again that if you are a dual purpose player or a multi skill player mm-hmm. you have uh, a lot of takers in the ipl so i think that uh, sikandar raza's ability to bowl field and bat has worked in his favor and he is the current in form player so the teams have gone for guys who are currently in form and match winners so they haven't gone for a mohammad nabi and shakib who are cast in the same mold uh, that also tells you that the fortunes of those sides in the t20 format is not that great so i i think that the full marks to the sides the analysts the coaching staff and the talent scouts for having completely done their homework and coming to the auction room yeah well i think that shows uh, cameron cameron green even though he was a last minute replacement on the recent tour uh, to india for the australian t20 side i think that's why he has uh, been so successful he was in form right pla- right place at the right time. Uh, Chandress, thank you very much for joining us again on TSP. Thanks a lot for having me. No, always a pleasure. So there he is. Uh, Chandress Naharayan, the sports journalist from